Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. It is Thursday and I've been really hesitant with whether or not I should be vlogging this week because I haven't really been posting on my social media. Just because of everything that's going on in the world I just feel like it just hasn't felt right to be posting. The only things I have been posting are on my stories with information and petitions and just like helpful resources about everything that's going on in America following on from George's death. I've made a highlight of everything I've put out on my Instagram so if you would like more information then go ahead there, I'll put my Instagram down below. So yeah, I just wasn't really sure whether or not I should vlog because obviously my vlogs are normally a very sort of positive, happy space where I'm just going about my normal daily life and I didn't want it to come across as insensitive. Saying that I have had a lot of messages from you guys asking if I can still be posting and vlogging, it's a bit of a distraction I guess. And I don't wanna be a distraction because I think we all need to be heavily involved with, with what's going on because we all need to come together and um, fight racism. Um, but I'm also aware that at the moment social media is such a negative space. And I mean, I personally am completely avoiding social media unless I'm posting and researching about Black Lives Matter and everything that's going on. I haven't been going on it at all. Somebody has now started to drill. Just because I feel like everyone is so upset and angry, there's a lot of hate around. Um, so I've just been focusing on doing my bit and then educating myself outside of social media. So yeah, I guess I just wanna bring a little bit of positivity um, and a bit of, I don't want to say an escape because we shouldn't be escaping the issue. I don't really know how to express it, but I feel like you guys are getting my gist. Also, I am still donating all of my AdSense from my last video to Black Lives Matter, so if you would like to sort of help in some sort of way, then just don't skip the ads in the last video. Anyway, let's get on with the vlog. So this morning I have washed my hair, I've used the Olaplex in it last night. I put on a really, really light base with the Elephant Sunshine What's it called? Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops. Um, and then a bit of lip gloss and some brows. And now B and I are just gonna go do our food shop in Sainsbury's. Um, we're gonna do a big one this week. Then for the rest of the day, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. It definitely does feel really weird not posting much on social media, like my normal daily outfits. But it has actually given me a lot more time to be thinking about other things and getting involved with other things. So um, yeah. So before we head out, I'm just gonna quickly pop on some Moroccan oil onto the ends of my hair. I just find that when I do this with like damp hair, it just makes my hair dry so much nicer naturally and I don't have to blow dry it or anything like that. So, And also of course it gives it some nice nourishing moisture. I'm always getting a lot of questions about the oils I use. So I use obviously the Moroccan oil one. The Jizu as well, I get a lot of questions about this one. I prefer using this on dry hair because it's a really light oil. Whereas the Moroccan is a bit more thick, so I prefer using this on damp hair. Yeah, I do love the Jizu, but I do think it is a little bit overpriced, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I guess the packaging and the design and the smell is just gorgeous, so. And then I'm just going to apply some of the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. So I've just been using this in between um, tanning, just to keep it topped up, and I'm finding that it's working really well. My favourite thing about Tan Lux is that it doesn't transfer onto anything. You can literally put it onto like white bed sheets directly and it won't stain. And it also really smells like um, Petit Fulu yogurts, which is quite nice. And then the tan that I have been using recently is the Tan Lux Wonder Oil. I really do mix up, um, hang on, let me talk to you properly. I don't really have a specific tan that I stick to. The two that I normally go back to are Bondi Sands and Tan Lux. Tan Lux is more of a recent love. I've recently discovered the um, Wonder Oil and it's just so, so nice. Really nourishing, it's got a really lovely um, deep color. And yeah, I just apply it in the morning and then about two hours later you have this amazing tan and you don't really need to wash it off or anything like that. So it's a very hassle-free tan, which is just perfect. I feel like I used to have such a tan routine and I was very religious with it, but now I've got a bit lazy and Tan Lux is just a really, really great tanning brand if you are like me and you just want to put it on, not have to worry about it and get on with your day. What a Oh my God. So we're on the way to Sainsbury's guys. B, uh, what gear am I in? B has lost her phone temporarily. I've got my purse. Oh, and she's got her purse. And it's good. Sometimes I leave it in the toilet. And sometimes I leave it in the fridge. <laughs> I've checked both those places. I've checked in my room. Checked in the piano. I've checked in the washing machine. Might be in my room. I did have a glance in your 
room though. Oh really? Those leaks are gigantic but I thought I was getting smaller ones. That's okay. No, but I don't even like leaks that much, do you? Oh you been? why did you get loads of leaks then? I got well, I got two. I thought they'd be about the size of my two hands. Yeah, they are quite big leaks. Yeah. Because I'm going to make a... I'm going to make something nice with leaks. Something yummy. Right, let's get out of here. Somebody come get her. Dancing like a breather. Just done our first ever click and collect order. Which is quite fun. Was it? No, not at all fun. It was very confusing. We've been driving around this car park for about five hours now. Not like joking. Five minutes. <laughs> it's been like five minutes. So what are you gonna make for dinner tonight? Um, tonight I'm gonna make. I don't know. What would you prefer? Um, either blue cheese salad or um, leek and feta bake. Uh, leek and feta bake. Yeah, good. I'm glad you said that. I don't want the leeks to go off. Oh my god, guys! Look how much ginger we accidentally bought. <laughs> I'll make ginger tonic later. Bees just made me a nice coffee, it's so nice. I'm really getting into them, you know? I know, I'm glad. What are you doing now, Bee? I'm doing some vision boards. We love vision boards in this house, we're always making them. I might do my vision boards as well. Though. Yeah, I do it in my room too. I can't get, I can't, how do you change the angle on this thing? What I want to tell you guys, that Kate won't tell you because she just won't. How to say? <laughs> No, because Kate's really good at vision boards and she, like, I wouldn't be able to do it without you. Know. Yeah, I couldn't do the vision boards without Kate because, I don't know, you just make everything really guided. <laughs> oh, that's like, so nice. Thank it you. just makes sense when you say it and I, I feel like when I do it on my own, I'm like, oh, I need to ask Kate. What are you um, doing your vision board on today? Um, I need to see where I'm at. I think, um, for what, like, where I'm seeing myself in five years. I've never really done one like that and I feel like that's important. Yeah. So I just want to have a bit of a reorganise of my wardrobe because well, to be honest, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just kind of felt like it. Um, so I've just cleared up the bottom half of my wardrobe, which is where I kind of keep like my jerseys and basics. And they're all on my bed here, so I'm just going to put them all back in. Trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen. Okay, so the white tees are in and I just thought I'd show you guys quickly my fave white basics. So, of course, we have the infamous Zara bodysuit. Um, this is a crop tee from Topshop. Um, I love Topshop basics. They're just really great, quite cheap as well. So, um, an all-round win-win. Another Topshop basic. This one is like a tighter fit. Um, it's still cropped, but yeah, it's just a bit more snug. Um, and then this is from Zara. It's a crop sleeve basic. It's nice material, but as you can see, it's slightly see-through. Um, this is just a novelty tee from Kiwi Killer. And then these are my long-sleeved. Um, at the moment, I've got these pretty little thing ones. They're so soft. I just love how snug they fit. So I've got a couple of them. This is another pretty little thing one. Another one. And then this is a pretty little thing crew neck sweater. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Okay, now onto the black tees. It's basically copy and paste from the white. So we've got this Topshop crop. I think, what size is this? I normally get it in, yeah, it's size 12, so it's a bit oversized on me. The Topshop basic, uh, boxy tee, another Topshop basic. Um, this is like a bit of a tighter fit. Um, this is my pretty little thing, really oversized. Um, what is that? Let's get that off there. Pretty little thing, 
black top. Um, again, same as the white tops, they're just really nice and snug fitting. Although I would like to try find some that are like this and fit like this, but just a bit thicker material. So if you know anywhere, do let me know. This is a pretty little thing, like high neck bodysuit. Again, really good for the winter. Pretty little thing crew neck sweater. Um, and then a black hoodie. So yeah, it's literally the same as the whites, but in black. Hey, you have to be the only person to ever wear it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Do you want it? Yeah, I want it. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I didn't, re didn't realise. Say what? Like, I didn't say that as in, like, I've never seen you wear that, give it to me. <laughs> no, I know that. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, then these basics are from Primark, and honestly, I think I've had these. I've had these years, haven't I, B? And they are still in perfect condition, really nice fit still. They haven't lost their shape at all. And I think they're like eight pounds. Honestly, the best basics you can get. So um, although obviously I'm not wearing these at the moment because it's summer, I'm just gonna put them in the corner here so they are nice and ready for the winter. So I've just popped some extra bits in here, like these tees. This is a little Zara crop basic. This is a hoodie from New Look. I actually really like New Look hoodies. I think um, they're good quality. This one's from New Look 2. Got a grey tee. My Gucci hoodie. And then this is another New Look. This is kind of similar to the Primark one. Again, I just really like the shape of it. It's a great winter basic. So that could go in the corner. But yeah, I just wanted to put the black stuff here and the white stuff here because those are obviously the ones that I go to the most. Okay, so now time for this section. This is where I keep all of my blazers, like long dresses, some cardigans. Um, like shirts and stuff and trousers. This is a good little like date night top. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you should go down the bottom. Do you think? Yeah. Um, I think that's where I keep all my jerseys. Now I'm going to put it at the top. This is like my basic section. Yeah, I know, but it's like small tea section. Like up there is like long trousers, big white blazers. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll put it down here, but it has, it has its own little section. Yeah, it has its own section. This is another little Lorna Lux number. Yeah. Oh, I love this, but this is going to have to go. It's just stained. See ya. See ya. And this is like a light blazer. Yeah, I love that. I love this one. Uh, hang on, let me see that one. Let me see that one, and that one, and the other black one you've just put in. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> no, but look, this one is a black blazer. This one is a black blazer. I like one in your wardrobe is a black blazer. Get it out and let me <laughs> see them all together. <laughs> okay, this is like a lightweight summer one. All right, fine, put that one back. Oh, now I can't choose between these two. I don't know my okay? No, Kate! Kate! <laughs> Take them back out! I, I, I wear them both. What is the difference between the two? One has, um, one is a bit more boxy and manly. Fine. I love this. I know. Kate, okay, that's like every other one. Hang on. No, 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 no. I like, they're different. Trust me. Okay, so, yeah, so there's this one. Yeah. Still with the tag on it. Yeah, I haven't worn that one yet. No, I know. This one I'm going to keep because then um, I don't have one I've worn on this cover. Uh, don't you? No. I don't. I don't believe you. slightly lighter. Okay, I okay. think this one's nicer. Okay, I'll keep the two Topshop ones and then sell this one. Yeah. I've had this one ages. Oh, you love it though. Okay, so the blazers are done. Three black blazers, much to B's despair. But they're all slightly different. One is like a light, this one is Topshop and it's kind of got these nice detailed buttons. This one is um, in the style and it's very like kind of boxy and like a bit more of a boyfriend blazer. And then this one is Topshop and this is not double lined, so it's a nice like lightweight blazer for the summer. No one needs three black blazers. I do. No one. My favourite white blazer, this one's Topshop, but you just can't fault it, I just love it. This one is another Lorna Lux in the style, it's just a gorgeous like jacket blazer. Got some checked ones here, another Topshop, new look, another new look blazer. 
Nuda Blaze is a more kind of like a jersey material, so they feel kind of casual, which I really like. Two Topshop blazers. Um, they still have the tags on, because I haven't worn these ones yet. And then we move on to like dresses and cardigans. These ones are from Pretty Lavish. I think they're gorgeous. I've got a Hollister cardigan, Mango, H&M. This is like a jacket. I can't remember where this is from. I've got some like summery dresses and then my trousers. That just gives me so much satisfaction. I can't cope. We just building. It's my season. Lay foundation. Make a name for generations. Please and make. And I've just had a little rejig of this side of the wardrobe. So here's all of my jewelry. I've organised this a little bit. Um, and then I've put my bags here before they were sort of like. Um, beneath my blazers. I wanted them to be more like on display almost, but that just felt a little bit cluttered. So I thought I would just do them like this. So I've got my little YSL, my Givenchy, Chanel, and this back here is from Azurina store and it's just sitting on a little black box. Um, I've got some more jersey tops here. These I think are mostly pretty little thing, a new look. I've um, got my travel bag there and then up there, I'm gonna put my knitwear, but um, I can't reach up there, so that's gonna have to wait for now. And then I've never really sort of styled this area of my room um, because I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but I'm gonna order some bits for it tonight. So I wanna get like a mirrored uh, tray to put my everyday perfumes on. So I've got my Jo Malone Rose Helfetti, which is just my favorite. I don't really wear um, the Eau de Danil anymore just because I prefer the Helfetti and then Helfetti Leather as well, which is just gorgeous. I've really switched up my perfumes recently. I used to be more of a sweet perfume kind of girl, um, like sweet and fruity. This one here I wore today and it actually does not smell good at all. It smells like balloons. So um, I'm gonna give this one for charity maybe. I don't know what you can do with all perfumes. Love the Machino one, which is very light and summery. Um, the Olympia one is quite nice, but like I said, I've kind of moved away from sweet perfumes. The Mr. Your one I've had since I can remember, like maybe since I was like 14. Um, and I always love this one. The Coco Chanel one is a little bit too mature for me. Um, and then the Juicy Couture one is nice and sweet. Um, this is my Alexa that I actually don't use anymore because um, we've got speakers in the ceilings. Um, but yeah, I should probably start using her again for like other stuff, I guess. Peonies, I just put to see if they looked good here because I want to get some fake ones to have here all the time. I was going to get white ones, but looking at the pink now, I actually think they're really gorgeous. So I might stick with the pink. And then my bud and bow candle, I just ran out of my old one and um, lit this one yesterday. I might get like a bigger candle, like one of the three wick ones or something, just to fill out the space a bit better. Um, and then maybe like some sort of decorative mirror. I'm not really sure yet. Anyway, this is what I'm not showing you guys. This is all the stuff that I need to sort out that I've kind of decluttered from my wardrobe. Like I've just had this delivery. How cute is this yoga mat? It says KH. Um, this is from a friend. I don't know if he watches my vlogs, but if you do, then you're a legend. Thank you. B is in the kitchen cooking a leek. What is that? Leek and? Um, lentil gratin. Ooh. And she's just made some g and You're the perfect housewife, Bob. Oh, thanks. got chewing gum. I don't know why. You know when you see chewing gum, you just have to put it in your mouth? Yeah. Take a break or a little vacation and chasing blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a picture, trying to look like you're winning, or look like you always be working. So you just made the most amazing dinner. Thank you so much. Wow, looks so good. Right, I'm gonna sit down. Do you know what? I had to half the recipe. Why was it for loads of people? It was for four people. I was like, oh, I better half it. And it's still massive. We've just decided that if we were Desperate Housewives, B would be Brie. Well, I wouldn't be Brie alone. I'd be Brie mixed with Susan. Yeah, you'd be Brie mixed with Susan and I would be Gabby because B's an amazing housewife and I'm more of a... Pay someone to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Got some candy kittens and we're gonna watch Desperate Housewives. Shock. We're literally both obsessed with it. We're on series four now, so it means we're halfway through. Look, you are the perfect housewife. You make dinner, you knit. <laughs> I'm, I'm knitting Kate um, a sweat top. A sweat top? A jumper. <laughs> I'm knitting Kate a jumper. Did I say sweat top? I didn't say that. I'm knitting Kate a jumper. You said that five times. <laughs> for the winter. 
Um, I had to start early because it was taking quite a time, quite a while. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm to my head. Moments you live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. So this morning smoothie is a green one. It has banana, spinach, lemon, ginger, and coconut water. And it actually tastes a bit like Sephora. Well, it tastes like how it smells anyway, which is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, it's nice nonetheless. Here's my breakfast, guys. I do not know how my poached egg turned out quite like this, but it's fine. Can I play it? Yeah, sorry. Good morning, guys. It is now Friday. I don't think I signed off the vlog last night, but um, we just watched TV and then went to bed. And so the plan of today is to go to Ikea because we need to pick up some bits and it's just opened. Um, this is my outfit. So I've got a pretty little thing, crew neck, white company leggings. Um, and these trainers are public desire. And yeah, we're ready to go. We've got our hand sanitizer, our masks, wipes, everything at the ready, so we are nice and safe. Okay, so we are on route to work here. We've got this massive thing in the car. I don't know if this is illegal. Should be fine though, right, B? Oh <laughs> yeah, B's on the back. B say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if it's legal. I don't drive. Yeah. No clue. Uh, should be fine. Oh, now I'm going to go this on. Why am I actually the worst driver? <laughs> you have a nail file in here, do you? No, you don't. It is pouring with rain, I've just got everything in the back and I've got some veggie hot dogs. I don't have any chips, which is quite sad. But, um, yeah. Take it me sat and ate it in the car. Drive through, I mean. Yeah, of course I remember that. That was only a month ago. Okay, no, it was like... No, it was not. It was like January time though, wasn't it? I swear January yeah, was only... Yeah, hey, that's six months ago. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. 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 I can't believe they're 50p. I know, it's so cheap. We're home! Just got back from Ikea and I thought I'd give you guys a little haul of everything we got. So, we got some more cutlery because does anyone else have this? Our cutlery literally disappears. I don't know where it goes. Um, but yeah, we've like suddenly went out. So, cutlery. A new wine glass because I smashed one yesterday got these three so like a set of three um cylinder glasses yeah cylinder vases um but we're thinking we're gonna use one as a fruit bowl maybe this one or use it as a moss bowl i think moss bowls are, like all over the internet and i think they're really cool so they might make a moss bowl um we got these two um cushion covers for the pillows on the balcony oh it looks like a little alien <laughs> it's like shrek <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, this is another like um, bowl we got, which might, which we might either use for fruit or moss. Some little fairy lights and some like serving dishes for when we have people around. That's it. That will like, care haul for you guys. Um, what are we gonna do now, Bobby? Uh, we need to put it away. Yes. We actually do need to go to Waitrose.
fruit bowl is, guys. Actually, that's perfect. This was our old one, so we can use this just for like salads now. So I've just been doing some editing the last couple of hours and I've played some piano and now B is making dinner. By the way, it looks like B just does all the cooking in my vlogs and that's because she does the majority of cooking um, but basically she really enjoys it and I just don't. I like the product of cooking but I don't like doing the cooking. I just find it's too messy um, and yeah, I just don't see the enjoyment in it but B loves it so... That's what she's doing. She's making a salad tonight and we've got some scallops in the oven as well. Blue cheese, chicory, watercress and spinach. Mm. Um, they're meant to be walnuts, but we don't have any, so I put pecans in, like lightly roasted. Yeah. Lady, lady apples. Oh, it's so good. So we've just put the pillows outside. This is what they look like. Um, I do think we want to get some like little table and chairs or something for out here, but for now we've just been sitting on the pillows. And at least they kind of have covers on, so we have yeah, the two Ikea ones, this one I don't know if we're going to keep or not, but um, it'll do for now. They've also got the other acrylic table just here in the corner, which I'm going to, oh god, sorry Buddha, which I'm just going to put here for now while we have our dinner. Now we're just making some cookies. We had this frozen um, in the freezer. It's ready to bake cookie dough roll, milk and white chalk chunk from um, Blondie's Kitchen and their stuff is amazing. So I'm excited to see how these turn out. Um, but we literally just chopped them up into little bits and we're gonna put it in the oven. Oh, they look so good. Oh my God, it's boiling. This mix has nothing. So just finished dinner, cookies are out the oven and I'm going to tackle this mess here because I just noticed that under the sink looks rather gross. So yeah, I'm going to sort out this. I'm in a place serene and pure and free Hey, I ain't worried about what's the wave Only worry about me, yeah Oh, I'm So I just did a quick little trip to Sainsbury's because when I was cleaning out the cupboard I realised that we had um, a lot of empty products. So we have these scent boosters which are my favourites, they make your washing smell amazing. Um, some floor wipes, dishmatics, um, antibacterial wipes and bleach. Um, I don't know if that's interesting to you guys but I always like cleaning product hauls so. Good evening guys, it is now like 11 o'clock I think um, this evening. I've blitzed the flat. I've given it a really, really good clean. Hoovered. At the moment, I've got so much energy and I don't know why. So whilst I've got a lot of energy, I'm using it to the max and just getting so much stuff done that I would normally not want to do. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to link some things down below where you can donate and help with everything that's going on in the world and Black Lives Matter. I know that instead of using social media this week, I have been using that time to really educate myself on racism, anti-racism, because I read somewhere the other day that it's not enough to um, just not be racist, you have to be actively anti-racist, and that's really stuck in my head. Um, so since then I've been really reading up on it. I hope you're all well, and let me know what video you would like to see next. I love you all so, so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.